Hello, welcome to my GIMP video tutorial series. In this video I will show you the GIMP scissor select tool. So in this video I will show you how to use the GIMP scissor select tool. But before we dive into using that tool, I want to explain to you first what is the difference between free select tool and scissor select tool. So the difference between free select tool and scissor select tool is that scissor select tool will automatically find edges and corners, or I should say contour lines for you, to put a point, without manually doing where to put the point A to point B etc. Whereas, the free select tool will not automatically find contour lines for you to put a point, you must do it manually instead. To make sure you fully understand what I'm talking about, I will show you a demonstration on how to use the scissor select tool. First select an image you want to use, or you can press Ctrl plus O to open, and select an image you want to use. After selecting the image, go to Layer, Transparency, and click Add Alpha Channel to make our image transparent. Press I key to select the scissor select tool, or you can click right here. Click your mouse left to put starting point to another, and so forth. And lastly, Point to the starting point again. Once you finish, press Enter key, then go to Select, click Invert. Press Ctrl key plus X key. And saved it as JPEG format. And that's pretty much of it on how to use the GIMP Scissor Select tool. If you want to watch another video related, or relevant to this video you're watching right now, I have a playlist for you to watch, just click right here, it has a list of sequenced video tutorials for you to watch, I recommended to you to watch this video tutorials in a sequence, starting from top to bottom video. If this video found to be helpful, or useful, leave a comment below, and also, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell notification icon for more tutorial videos in the future, and thank you for watching this video tutorial, and have a good day.